up, YouTube? It's your boy King Tyson, and I'm back. Before we get to it, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you always watch the full video. Carmen's best friend who has been there for Carmen for many of her and Corey breakups and who knows a lot of secrets spilled a lot of tea in her recent live. Now, not only is she Carmen's best friend, but she works with Nev Management. This is when the tea get hot because Corey said in his recent video, and this is why she's upset. This is when the tea get hot because Corey said in his recent video, and this is why she's upset that Nev Management played a big part in his divorce. According to Corey, when Nev Management helped him and Carmen, I ain't gonna say a big part, bro. Like, he gotta take accountability, bro. Like, you cheated, bro. It, like, you cheated. Supposedly. Multiple times. Like, you... That's a big part of of y'all divorce. That's a big part. Them doing that, they little <laughs> love and hip-hop, little timeline stuff with, with y'all relationship. Yes, that probably played a part, too. But the big part with the cheating. Like, I'm not in, in, in your relationship, but for me, as a person, that will be a big part of me leaving somebody. Like, what, you cheated? Yeah, with it. what? Mm. <laughs> no, I'm not I'm not going for this. You cheated once, you think we're going to stay together, and then, oh, you, you accepted it? Oh, I'm going to end up doing it again. No, I'm not going for that, bruh. In stage of breakup back in August, it was never mentioned that she was supposed to go on a blind date with Michi, especially being that Corey already had a problem with Michi before the fake breakup. Supposedly, Michi, for months prior to that fake breakup, was liking Carmen's pictures and leaving inappropriate comments underneath her pictures, which Corey already felt some type of way. Bro, look at Carmen. Look at Carmen. Like, for real. <laughs> What did you like? Look, when you have somebody who looks good and you have an open profile who are a million people can see, you're going to get all type of comments, all type of DMs. You look good. Now, is it, is it okay? Some of, the, some of the stuff that people might be saying, yeah, some people are probably, probably doing a little bit too much. But he don't know you. You are not his friend. I've, hey, I left him with some hard eyes too. Am I wrong? I don't know you. You know, you're not my friend. I see you. I know who you are. I see you yeah, in relationship, but that don't mean nothing, bro. That don't mean nothing. Yes, you probably, hey, when somebody is, is in a relationship, you probably should show their relationship some type of respect. But then again, if I don't know you, why should I? I don't know who you, I don't, you're not my friend. If you're my friend, then yeah, all right, yeah, your girl is, hey, completely off limit. I don't even look at her in no type of way form. None. I'm that type of dude. But I don't. What? I don't care. Yo, your girl can be a, a twenty. I don't care, bro. That's what. That's my homies. I don't want nothing. My homies had <laughs> nothing. Not even close, bro. Especially like we ain't gonna go to TMI, TMI. But I'm just saying, like when it comes to like, hey, to that no time, I don't want to think about. Yeah, my homie smashed this. My homie probably did this and that to you. I don't want to think about none of that. But we again, when it comes to your your relationship the only person who owes you loyalty is a person who you're in a, in, in a relationship with people who, who are on the outside who you don't know owe you nothing nothing i'm quite sure you was probably getting the same type of comment and demon dm that she was getting trust me ladies be just as thirsty as men for real so it looked like to Corey they tried to sabotage his marriage and this is why he pulled the plug on the whole breakup back in August. Now when you say when Carmen go back to Corey what am I going to do? I'm still going to be right there with both of them. Y'all y'all have to realize that people break up and get back together all the time. Whether they get back together or not it's none of my business. I don't care what they do. I'm still going to love regardless okay i'm gonna love regardless that's that's number one so carmen has been like a little sister to me carmen is, is younger than me much younger than me and i've mentored carmen and you know i i loved carmen and love carmen from day one okay and i took a liking to her from day one and i noticed that a lot of times Carmen allows people to say things to her, do things to her, and she doesn't stand up for herself. Now, I'm black. I'm from a different type of community. We don't play that. We, it's very rare. Yeah, she she had to correct that because what? I'm black too. And sadly, 
This goes for every culture. Every it's about you as a person. The race has nothing to do with it. Cause I hate people trying to play that role. Like, bro, no. Trust me. Sadly, sadly, we all know some black females who deal with stuff that they should not be dealing with. Like, but I, like I said before, it be the love and, and uh, the love and the heavy liking of somebody. When you like somebody enough, you love somebody enough, you're in love with somebody. You're going to deal with things that you should not be dealing with, that you know. You know for a fact you shouldn't be dealing with, but it's like, man, I love this person. I don't want, I don't want to just walk away. That you going to see a black woman allow somebody to trash them and them not stick up for themselves, like, in the rawest way. So, for me, it was, it was different to see somebody around me allow not one but multiple people just say things and not say nothing back but i'm behind closed doors so i know how this person is feeling you know what they want to say but don't want to hurt the other person which is so dope to me because for me when i'm when i'm feeling like some type of way I, everybody's the casualty everybody everybody going down i don't care and i have been that friend to Carmen that's like you know what slow down you know y'all still married da, 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 da. I we have been voice of reasoning and Carmen has been voice of reasoning for herself in so many cases now to be honest I have not been celebrating or been the one to say yeah Carmen go date somebody else I have not been that person because as a married person, I don't think it's right on any end for anybody to say I'm single when you're still married. So I have not been around that on purpose. I have not said anything negative towards Corey or Carmen. And in the past, I have been the one that Corey and Carmen has came to together to ask for advice. and. And, it's, and, it, and, and there's nothing wrong with what I'm saying. Because I feel like the guy, when I saw that video last night with her and the guy, I was like, I really took a liking to him. I really took a liking to him. I and I have been trying my hardest to be like, <laughs> no, I don't like it. No, I don't like it. No, don't do it. No, uh -uh, I don't want to hear about it. I don't want to know nothing about it. All I'm focused on is making sure you and them kids are good. Like, I feel like I've been sitting around like I'm her taking care of her. Like, Ebony is her taking care of her. That's how I've been feeling. Because you got to understand. And when I say that, I don't mean it. Does, everything isn't financially. I mean, when she breaking down, we right there. But now she has somebody that is helping her through it. And of course, I'm, I'm a, I'm a. I'm a, first off, I don't need to use nobody. I don't need to use nobody. I'm a rich bitch. I don't need to use nobody. <laughs> so when I saw Michi, I, I really, really, really was drawn into that. And I was like, wow. You know, but I noticed that Carmen didn't want to do too much because I'm sure it was out of respect. Okay. I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's not up to me to determine that. But I saw and I was like, okay, but right under the video right under the video Corey's video was right there well you know I got on, I got on the phone with a young boy in BA and uh, uh, yeah you know and uh, you know I was on the phone with him for 30 minutes and uh, you know he kind of told me you know to you know go ahead and uh, you know apologize and you need to make that right for the kids for the da 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 da, -da. it took young boy to, to make you do that nah you should have did that on your own and it wasn't, it was like a backhand. It was like, oh, me and Carmen good, but let me. That's true, but sometimes it takes somebody who you wouldn't expect advice from to say it. And then, hey, you, you, like, you know what? You're right, my boy. You're right. Especially when it's somebody who's, I could say, in your same position, just because, you know, he, he has kids and it's a dude. And so it's like, all right, it's something to, it's something to listen to. Let me tell you how this started. It started all during the video with Nav. You came to Neb. You wasn't having any views anymore. Not like that. You needed Neb to bring your views up. You asked them. I know. <laughs> you trying to make it all it sad like. Way because I know. Everybody. Everybody. Was still. 
more intrigued by Carmen. You didn't like the way it was going. It always go like that. You pulled the plug. It always go like Everybody that. Everybody know. YouTube, a lot of this stuff ain't nothing but a bunch of actors. So you pulling out the fact that, oh, we did this. It was written down. It just makes your product, the quality of who you are, look bad. Because now, if I'm a viewer, I'm going to think everything you say is fake and scripted now. So you didn't make nobody look bad but yourself. When somebody says they doing it for marketing and you hurting somebody for marketing, what are you selling? What are you really giving up? It's your family. For marketing, you willing to hurt her for marketing. If my man was willing to hurt me for marketing, I would smack the sh out of him. For marketing? And I'm like, my girl sitting back, she ain't saying nothing. And it's been going on. It's been going on. It's been going on. It's been going on consistently, consistently. Carmen was staying with me for three weeks. That ain't the first time Carmen came to my house. What? That ain't the first time. It wasn't the second time either. It wasn't the second time either. And it's not for me to say. And I'm not saying that Carmen is innocent. And Carmen knows she's not innocent. But Corey is not innocent either. And one thing I respect about Carmen, for her to be so young, for her to keep her mouth shut the way she did, that is to be commended. That is to be commended. And I feel like Corey can still redeem himself, but it has to be, it has to be 100%. It has to be a- He gotta just stop posting about her and just make, make his type of content. Just do you, bro. Just stay consistent and do you. Stop mentioning Carmen. I understand, yeah, and like I said before, hey, their, their, their divorce is still new and they was together for a long time. So yeah, no matter if he gonna admit it or not, I know he's still here. He, he feeling some type of way, you got, you feel some type of way, bro, whether you're a uh, hundred percent in pain or not, but you feel some type of way. Just keep, but just keep, keep moving, stay consistent, that's it. hundred percent genuine, it ain't the truth. And, and I already said it, and I'll say it again. That assistant, you are messing with that assistant. You're messing with her. You've been messing with her. I could give her some of my experience and what I've been through in the past to help her. But when I see that somebody's keep on tearing her down, and I'm seeing that she ain't saying nothing, that was a backhanded apology. You showing messages. You showing production sheets. We can't, you can't call yourself real and 100 doing stuff like that. And I felt like I needed to get on here today because this is just one of them days for me. And I have, I've spoke to Corey before. I've been very blunt with Corey before. Corey knows exactly who I am. Corey knows I love both of them. But what we not gonna do is, we not gonna make it like she is the only problem in this situation. It's two problems. When you in a relationship, it's two people, it's two problems. We don't know everything when the door is closed. Oh we don't know everything when people are not around. We can't speak on those things. But what I can say is, is that Carmen consistently has told us, yeah, I was wrong for this. I was wrong for that. I was wrong. And we had to tell her, stop. Stop always making it like you the only one that's wrong. No, I never said that. I said when I saw Michi, it changed my perspective on who he was. Because I said I did not want to be around that. And I still am not around it because that's who I am. I don't have nothing against nobody. I don't have nothing against nobody. But when you have a, a sister, a family member, a friend that is doing wrong, you have to put yourself in a position to say, I got to say something. Facts. She's speaking facts though, like I give her that she was speaking some facts though. Make sure you like and subscribe. Catch you the next one.